Well, I have over here is a coconut blank, I call it, because uh, this is from the coconut tree. The coconut tree is a very unique tree because what it has, the characteristic of a coconut tree, it has two leaves, and then it has this midrib, and the midrib is really nice and stiff. So it keeps everything nice and uh, like strong. It gives it strength, yeah? Um, so I took 10 leaves, I trimmed it off so I could put it in the circle, and then now I start weaving. You know, the coconut is an amazing plant because um, it was a canoe plant of ancient Hawaii. It was brought over by the first Polynesian and voyaging canoes. And um, so there are theories about, oh, the coconut kind of floated to Hawaii, but no. The coconut was brought by the canoe plants of ancient Hawaii. If you want a really good, um, uh, interesting education about the uh, canoe plants of ancient Hawaii, the National Tropical Botanical Garden. They have a whole area that they dedicate uh, to that area. But th the coconut to me is one of the more important that the Hawaiians uh, brought. Um, and this form of weaving that I'm doing is very, this is like the most uh, easiest of all the weavings because it's not so difficult. Notice how I keep the leaves uh, trapped between my legs only because if you don't do that, this will crack and ultimately it'll kind of uh, ruin the flow of the basket. So I get the tip and the tip is easier to work with because uh, it's flexible, not like the bottom portion of the leaf, yeah? So this is, I'm making sure that all the things are kind of long and then I shape the bowl. And then I level, I try to keep it you know, kind of symmetrical, and then I'm just tightening it up over here. Yeah. So, you see, the coconut bowl is so easy to do. Uh, well, you know, provided you have the proper education about it. But, you, you know, it's a very, uh, it kind of contributes to sustainability in our lifestyles because it's biodegradable, it's reusable, and it's fresh. When you see a nice coconut bowl and it's nice and green, it gives you the impression that it's, oh, wow, it's fresh, you know? Uh, weaving with lauhala, the leaves are brown, so it, it creates a different kind of uh, feeling. But so now, this, we created this, but there's a puka right here, yeah? So we gotta fix this puka to make it into a bowl. So we're gonna gather up all the leaves, you know, people ask me, oh, what style of weaving is that? Uh, where is it from? You know, I actually don't know all the uh, history about, okay, so I have 10 leaves, one, two, three, four, five. I stick it in over here, there. But, um, so I really don't know all the different styles. I know that there are hundreds of different ways of doing baskets all throughout Polynesia. And uh, what I'm doing now is something that I learned that was really fast. I must know like about, oh, maybe 10, 15 different types of weaves, but still, a lot of people, they consider me a master weaver. That I am not. I am a cultural weaving practitioner. I love to teach what I know, but in order for you to get a master status, you have to be very good and know everything, all the intricacies intricacies about weaving and I must admit I don't but if you ask me can you weave a bowl can you weave a hat can you do a tray I can do that but no way am I a master okay see and then we pull opposites like this and then we have a little bowl now on a recent trip to Molokai uh, well not recent maybe about 10 oh God, it was his first birthday and he just graduated from high school 17 years ago. I went to Molokai and they were doing baskets and um, they were doing it this way. They end the uh, baskets a little bit differently. So now, because I went to Molokai and I saw them doing it this way, I call this the Molokai clothes. But then again, the person who uh, might have taught the person in Molokai to do it, he may have been from Samoa and they should be the Samoan clothes. But I don't know, but I just know that it was really pretty clothes. And so every time I do this clothes, I call it the Molokai clothes. So this will get the job done. There's so many different ways of doing things, yeah? I'm just making knots, I'm moving the knots over and then I'm just bringing it like this. But I love, 
you know, part of my, uh, I lived in Japan, as I mentioned earlier, and uh, the, the Japanese is like a, a rapping culture. Uh, they may get a little gift. The gift may be worth like $10, but they'll spend like about $25 to put it in a nice package uh, because sometimes the presentation of the gift is more important than the gift itself. Yeah. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is a Molokai clothes. And so like when you give uh, something, to, when I give up uh, like little omiyage to friends and stuff, little fruits, I give them and I put them like some lychee or mango. I give them this and they look, the first thing they notice is not the food itself. They look at the bowl. Oh, wow, this is a nice bowl. I said, and said, oh, can I have it? I said, of course you can have it. Uh, and you know, presentation is so big in Japan and maybe that's where I got that from. But this uh, bowl, the, the simple bowl I made, it didn't take me very long, but you know, it could bring a lot of happiness, people looking at that, and they can be real, you know, it's such a relaxing Polynesian feeling to the gift, yeah.